Now, is this real life? Back to back days of uploads. Yeah, we're here and I can't lie, I am quite excited because we're here with episode two of the Locker Code Squad. And if you don't know, this is a series that I don't do super often, but when I do it, I make sure to do all the Locker Codes so then our team just gets better and better. Because if you don't know, basically the only way I can get players for this team is by Locker Codes. Now, unfortunately, once again, I did record a whole episode and then lost the files. So a bit of a rip. So let me give you a rundown of what happened last time and what locker codes we had. First of all, most importantly, we had the best locker code so far and it was for a guaranteed free pink diamond. And we got to pick the player that we wanted. I don't know if it was the right option, but I decided to go Larry Bird. Definitely not a bad choice, but I was very much mixed between either getting Larry or Clyde. We went Larry. Anyway, then we did some other locker codes and got some packs and so on. And in those packs, I didn't really get too much, but out of this mystic pack, I did not expect this Sapphire to be unreal. But yes, we ended up getting Jonathan Isaac, which was such a good pull. Then also out of the Tis the Season packs, we pulled Amethyst Vince Carter, which was fire. And then I did something that I never recommend, but I went into the token market and into the rewards and spent 15 tokens on trying to get one alter ego player. Because I got those tokens from locker codes, I could do it. And um, we got absolutely nothing. So yeah, I didn't recommend that. Anyway, then I played two games with my team unlimited and lost. So it wasn't that good of an episode, but we're here now. And trust me, my team is crazy good to think it's only made from locker codes because three, two, one, bam, this is it on screen right now. To be honest, the starters are actually quite good. We just really badly need a point guard. Like I really like Vince, Dominique, Larry Bird, and Wang is unreal. But to think we have Sapphire, Patty Mills, and Ruby Cole Anthony isn't great. And I know a lot of you guys might be thinking, why don't I just do these lifetime agendas to actually get some pink diamonds and so on? Unfortunately, that's not a locker code, so it's not a part of the rules. I'm telling you, this is one of the biggest challenges I set myself each year, but it's so much fun. Also, real quick, let's just see if we can get 600 likes on this episode. I know we can do that. Anyway, we do have a lot of active locker codes right now, so I'll be sure to put them all on screen. These ones are all active. Be sure to put them in because some of them could change your team forever, and we're going to get through them now. So this first one is actually kind of hidden, and it's for a lot of tokens, so you never know. We could do more of the Alter Ego packs. I hope we can get 25. Don't think we will and we got green 20 tokens we'll take that and it's glitched great finally worked and we got them <coughs> then we have this guaranteed iced out pack which is so good for us because it means that we could actually get a really good player so very happy with this then we have a chance at an iced out pack i really hope we get it all i'm going to do is just put the ball in the corner and please drop and give me the pack that's no 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 yeah yes good there's bro I was so close. I needed the pack so badly. And this one isn't active at the moment, but it gives us a chance at a James Worthy NBA 75 pack. So let's hope we get this and we do good. These could be huge. Then this code as well isn't active, but it is fire because this is the clay is backpack. And basically it gives us two Hall of Fame badges as well as a free agent clay that I'm gonna use. Then we have this one, which gives us some unreal packs. I'm really hoping for the new year's resolution pack or the Mr. Deluxe, so let's hope we get the news right. I'm not gonna get that. that was it. There's no way I just got that. <laughs> okay, that's because we had bad luck. That's good karma from our bad luck before. We got the New Year's resolution. And this one is a great code as well. I don't know which one I want. The only pack I don't want is the maxed out one. So please, I did a terrible job. That's That probably should have got it, to be honest. Anyway, we're going to reset. I just do not want that maxed out pack. I'm happy with the iced out. Um, And that's what we're going to get. Jimmy Butler, we could pull him. I'd be happy. Definitely not too bad. And then finally, we have this pack for an NBA 75 Jerry West pack. So we need to get it in the light blue. Please give me the luck. And wow, we're going to... I just suck at dropping my balls. It's so annoying because these packs really could change the series. And I can also go over here and do this locker code for some tokens. I like playing online, so let's get our one token. Now we've got this clay is backpack. And I'm actually really happy with this because as I said, I'm definitely going to use the free agent clay as we get also hot zone hunter and green machine on hall of fame, which I'll put on some player, but we got clay Thompson. But now we have the actual pack. So let's do, let's do the iced out pack first and let's see if we can get something good from this. I'm telling you, if we get a shake, it is just absolutely crazy. So please, we do. Come on, make it a good one. Bang. It's only an amethyst. Who are the amethysts in this? I can't really remember, but let's hope it's a good one. Western Conference shooting guard number 11 is... I can't remember who this is at all, but I'm pretty sure every player out of this was... This is Paul Azrin or whatever his name is. 
He's actually a really good card and a point guard. That's a huge pull. Yo, I should have been so much more excited, but I just forgot he was a point guard. That's huge. That's what I'm saying. These packs can just absolutely change the series. Like we just went from a Ruby Cole Anthony and a Sapphire Patty Mills to an Amethyst just like that. This pack, unfortunately not as good as the last. We get LeBron. Maybe I'll use him instead of Kelly Oubre. Our iced out one pack went well. Let's go number two. And it's no shake. It's a Ruby though. Make it a good one. Kyrie, I guess I'll use him. But now it's time for our biggest pack, our New Year's Resolution Deluxe Pack. That's the thing, it's a deluxe pack, so we guaranteed a New Year's Resolution player. Trust me, whoever this is, we got a diamond. There's no way, because that means we can Evo this card to a pink diamond. So we pretty much just pulled a pink diamond player. Western Conference power forward is Carlos Boozer. So not the most exciting, but that's absolutely crazy because I'm going to Evo this card right now and we're going to get a pink diamond on our squad. Man, that is huge from the New Year's resolution packs. Those locker codes were fire for us. Yeah, um, I'm quite happy with that. So I have to make 15 threes with this 43 ball. That's not going to be fun, but... I'm definitely going to try and do it. So yeah, this is the team right now. I am going to go and make this Carlos Boozer a pink diamond. So give me like an hour. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'll see you guys soon. And I can't lie, it was so much easier than I thought. It only took me like 15 minutes. But yes, we got the 15 threes with Carlos Boozer. And that's now going to bring his three ball up to an 89. And not to mention, look at all the shooting badges he gets. It's going to be crazy. So let's Evo this diamond to the pink diamond version of our man's Carlos Boozer. I can't believe... We just got two pink diamond power forwards in this episode. So now let's actually look at the squad. Bang, that's it right there. Our starters are looking so good. Like, yes, it's going to be hard to play with this team because we're probably going to go against God squads. But at least now I somewhat feel confident because we have an okay point guard, but a very good three, a very good four, and a very good five. And this is only episode two, so I'm excited. And not to mention our bench is quite good too. You know what else I'm going to do? I'm actually going to put Clay in the starters. Let's, let's do that and we're good. So yes, I am zero and two. Not happy about it, but let's hope we can get our first win of this season, of this episode, with our new squad. So I'm excited, but without further ado, let's get to it. What is this team? He's got Galaxy Oval... I'm so confused. Anyway, let's just hope. Let's just hope we can still play well with this new squad. The issue is, is I've never really played some of these players at their certain positions. Like, what was that? And also the issue is, is there's some cards here that I've just never used full stop. So Carlos Boozer, you're one of them, but you're getting the two. This Larry Bird is hopefully going to be a beast for us though. The fact that he's a free pink diamond that we got, that is a terrible shot. Just give me that rebound. Let's give it to Larry. I'm looking at Paul or I'm looking at Clay. Paul, pull the three. Let's hit it. We got it. I'm just so confused as to why he has Galaxy Opal Chris Bosch. Like, can someone please tell me why is that, why that's, why, why, why is teams the way it is with Galaxy Opal Chris Bosch? I've got no idea, but all we know is Carlos Boozer is starting off extremely well. And yes, we've got another Locker Co player being Paul. Carlos Boozer, you are playing like a beast. Let's stop. Boozer, 4-3, hit it for me. Bro, you got to hit that. Anyway, we'll go up and take the two. And Larry just got us to steal, and now we stop with Paul. Paul for three. He hits. I feel so confident going against this squad. Literally so confident at all. As I said, I I'm so confused as to why my opponent has some of these players, but really, I'm not going to complain because... It just gives us a chance for an easy dub. I'll tell you what, wow, it's helped ever since we've got Paul on our team. Paul, let's let's try and get a pick and fade with you again. Maybe we run up high and then we run down low. And then who do we see? Carlos Boozer once again. Pump faking that one. Andre Young, you can't defend me. Let's get the slam. Larry Bird in his first game for the squad. And then Paul, once again, that's a green for our first time. Maybe Clay Thompson in the corner. Let's he found me. And guess what? That is a rage quit. Yeah, the first, the first updated team is playing quite well because just like that we're now one and two and let's try and make our win loss even so without further ado let's get to another game i'm a bit more nervous going against yeah uh this team right <sighs> It's going to be tough, but we stand a chance. That's the thing, because with moments of the month right now, it's actually quite easy to get a pretty good team. So I feel like every team we go against shouldn't be too bad. We just got lucky last time. So let's just hope we can actually play well with this squad. Let's give it to Wang. Wang for three, and he hits. I tell you what, it is quite hard when you look at the players we're going against though, but Carlos Boozer, four, three, again. I really haven't seen many people use this Carlos Boozer, but he's been a beast for us. And now let's pump fake that one. Kick it back out. What a pass by Boozer. That's a terrible shot. Just give me this rebound. Give me this rebound. Evan Mobley, you ain't getting that one. I'm trying to look at Clay Thompson here. We might actually have him. Clay, uh, 
it's just, it was just such a slow pass, but Carlos Boozer again. That's a bad shot. Rebounds, rebounds, rebounds. Boozer is there once again. I'm looking at Clay Thompson in the corner. Clay Thompson corner shot. Let's pull it and let's hit it. Paul was a scoring machine for us in the first game. This game, not so much. So can we get something to go with him? Let's stop. Paul, Azarin, Azarin, he hits. That's good defense. Oh no, we didn't get the rebound. And now this is going to be tough to end up getting the stop, but it's actually quite good defense. Bro, DeMar DeRozan is just unreal. And probably the thing I'm most worried about right now is I just called on my bench. That's an N1 to Clay though. So how is this going to go is the real question. Jonathan Isaac, get the slam. Need to bait this pass. And oh, I thought I did. That's a terrible shot. Rebounds for me, please. Mitchell Robinson. I can't believe I'm using Mitchell Robinson and Ruby Cole Anthony, but Ruby Cole Anthony, get me that slam. So now my full bench is on the floor. Do you reckon Jonathan Isaac can hit that? I don't know, but let's just get the dunk. There we go. That's the steal we're looking for. And now Cole Anthony, I'm just taking this all the way. Please get the slam. And he does. That's a huge block. Let's go. We've got 11 seconds left. I'm looking at Nick in the corner. Let's give it down to Mitchell though. Mitchell Robinson, kick it back out, kick it back around, kick it. And then Cole Anthony, 4-3. Let's go. No, no, no. Don't you dare score. Don't you dare score. Let's jump. Absolutely. You've got to... Uh, bro. Oh, did that count? Yeah, it did. Let's go. It all worked out in the end. I feel so much more confident with my starters on, but... We hit the two there. We like it. Need to get a stop here. Need to get a stop. It's pretty good defense. Josh Giddy's a beast though. What a block by Boozer. And he gets the rebound. Bro, I swear every single time I do something right, it turns into something wrong. It is so frustrating. Boozer gets us another steal. And now, yes, I am looking at Clay, but let's give it to Boozer because he knew I was looking at Clay. So let's go down low this time. Maybe we'll have... I, I don't even know what we have. I seriously don't even know what we have. It... It didn't work out. We got blocked. Maybe back. It's going to work out. Clay Thompson, 4-3. Boozer, 4-3 again. What a play. This is where it's crunch time. It's fourth quarter. And yes, he's got his starters on. And yes, I'm a little bit nervous. And yes, that was a terrible pass. But sometimes the terrible passes are what makes things work. Why would you go for that pass? Like through his... I don't understand. I don't understand. And now he might have a wide open three with Terry the dentist. But good defense once again. See, that's the thing. I'm playing well. I'm playing... No, I'm not. Still, yeah, let's go, Larry. Okay, we needed that one. Now, Vince Carter down low. Carlos Booz up. Finish it for me. Good boy. That's a terrible shot. He's taking some bad shots now. As soon as I brought our man Vince Carter on the floor, he's been a bit startled. A bit. He's not playing the best. Um, Wang, back out. Corner. Larry Bird, 4-3. It's tied. That's such good defense. That is such good defense defense. I'm looking at Vince Carter this time. Vince, pump fake. Take it on Dame. Let's kick it back up. Carlos Boozer. Bro, Carlos Boozer must be so tired. He's doing absolutely everything for us. Oh, I see Vince. Vince Carter. Is that a good pass? Is it a good shot? It's an early release, but the rebounds to Carlos. And he's got a wide open three there. And yeah, he's going to hit it. That sucks. Like Boozer just couldn't get back. Now Larry gets destroyed. Come on, Vince. Take this one all the way. Let's get the slam. Good dunk. There's an what? Like the annoying part is, is it's literally impossible for me to get back there. I'm telling you this, this DeMar DeRozan is the card that has been destroying me. That's only a two, which is unfortunate. Let's try and bait this pass to DeMar, bait it. Oh, block, nope. I can't lose this. We can't have gone this whole way to end up losing in this scenario. So I tried to go for a three there, didn't work, but we do get the slam. That's a bad, oh, it was a bad shot, but he didn't end up taking it. That was good defense there. Mitchell Robinson, get us that, that I swear. Bro. I'm sorry about how many times I've said bro this episode, but I don't think there's a chance I could be more unlucky than what just happened there in the final few seconds of this game. Back out. Jonathan Isaac, 4-3. <laughs> oh, 2 Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Let's score. Come on, we got to just stick to him here. Stick to him like glue. That's the worst defense you'll ever see. Let's call a timeout. Do I bring my starters on? I got it. I can't believe we just missed that three. But anyway, we gotta we gotta not think about it. We gotta give it to Paul this time. We've got four seconds left on the clock. Let's take it down. Let's kick it down. Can you catch? Catch a basketball. <laughs> Locker code squad against Galaxy Opal. DeMar DeRozan. That's all it was. We've got a basketball. This is Coach Angus. When the ball comes to you, you catch. Catch. 
catch. That's all you have to do. Now you don't want to be snapping it like a crocodile. You want to make sure it comes into your hands smoothly and you've got full focus on the ball. That's how we catch. Wang, ZZ, Chi Chi, I don't know. You need to learn that. Yes, I am mad. Carlos Boozer played so well. I, I don't know what I could have done differently. Obviously I could have played better in some situations, but I feel like we got so unlucky at the end there. Anyway, that's just the way it goes. We ended up taking that L and I'm a little bit mad, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button. I'll try and bring this out a bit more frequently because the different, the, the, the uh, uh, bro, I can't speak. It was a long time since the last episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. This is a hard series to do, but I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.